time for the Warriors to lick their wounds after last night's Game 2 loss. Today, the team traveled to Cleveland ahead of Game 3 tomorrow night. As for the fans, they're still optimistic about the series, but just how much do they really know about the Cleveland Cavaliers? Scott Reese finds out. Warrior fans acquitted themselves pretty well with their knowledge of the Grizzlies and then the Rockets, so now we ramp things up a notch with the NBA Finals edition of Know Your Opponents. When was the last time the Cavaliers won an NBA title? An NBA title, I believe it was... 1973. Uh, 1964? Never. That is correct. Oh, thank you. <laughs> The Cavs have a guy named Smith and a guy named Jones on their roster. How many Smiths and Joneses are there total in the NBA? Wow. Uh, probably about 50. I'm going to say 48. 111. You think there are 111 guys named Smith and Jones in the it's NBA? Common, it's a very common last name. 14. That's actually the closest we've gotten so far. The answer is 10. 10. 10. I said 10. <laughs> Follow-up question. How many Shumperts are there in the NBA? One. Two. <laughs> One is correct. One is correct. <laughs> Name the only U.S. president to serve two terms in office separated by another president. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Um, Ronald Reagan. Bush. Well, Abe Lincoln, of course. Cleveland. That is correct! Oh, <laughs> See what we did there? Oh. Name the dance club located inside the Miami Marlins baseball stadium. They are called the Dancing Marlins. Don't! I have no clue. The Cavaliers. The Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> oh, the Clevelander. We were that. South Beach. Yeah. Okay. Last question is a visual question. What kind of animal is this? A stupid one. A loser. Fox. A wolf. The bear. A bear. A dog bear. It's gotta be a dog. You got it. You're the first guy that actually recognized Moon Dog. I couldn't tell you the name, but yeah, it's a dog. So what did we learn? Well, I guess every dog has his day, even if that dog kind of resembles a bear. Hopefully by the end of these finals, we will have learned one more thing about the Cavaliers, that they weren't quite good enough to beat the Warriors. In Oakland, Scott Reese, KTVU, Fox 2 News.